Yeah, we're celebrating Pie Day, and you can That's celebrate good. it any way you like, but what better way is there than pizza? Pie? And then, uh, what else are we doing? We're doing something else, I think, aren't we? Uh, we are. We're talking about spring break plans. You know, oh, because a lot right. of times, you know, yeah, ideas. Uh, go spring south. break ideas. Yeah, you don't have to go far to have a great time with your friends and family on spring break. So we've got some trip ideas. You could go visit the peculiar people of Tennessee and study them. Mm. That's what I would suggest. Yeah, Lee learns a lot from me each and every day. If you don't yeah. know, I'm from Tennessee peculiar. and I'm the bright spot in Lee's life. You know, uh, yesterday I went to go get gas. Yeah. And I'm walking in, pick something up inside. And you okay there? Uh, uh, thanks for calling me out. You're not, uh, I'm not on camera. Well, I was just I, adjusting I my chair for a minute. And she was gone. I was adjusting my chair. And uh, a lady You're asked, getting gas. Yeah, I'm, well, now I'm, well, I'm inside there. I'm purchasing something. And okay. the lady asked me to get a, a selfie. She, she wanted a, a photo. She, Lee Cruz. Lee Cruz, I want a photo. I want a yeah. photo. And I, I obliged. Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Well, here's how she took the selfie. You know, most people do it like this. Yeah. So she grabs me like right. this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she does this. Oh. <laughs> this is how we took the photo. So I, I, it's going to look like some sort of dermatology. <laughs> <laughs> she did not take it that yes. closely. And I kept backing up so she could at least get part of my yeah. head in the shot. So mainly it was her face. So she's doing this the whole... <laughs> okay. With, with maybe... She didn't send you the picture or show it you. Did you say... Orbital bone. I, I always say, let me see no, she if I take a selfie with somebody. I don't want to give her my number, but yeah. Recently, Lee and I were at the gas station. Gas station is your hot spot. A lot of your fans hang uh, out there. I spend there. a lot of time at the you gas station. You spend a lot of time. A lady came up to us wanting your picture. Remember you were on the phone and she was like, Lee Cruz. <laughs> well, it's no, it's no uh, secret. Gas station people are my people. Are your people, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready to do some hot topics? Let's do it. We got a, we got some big hot topics today. Okay. Hot topic. Lee and I are both fired up about this first one. If you haven't heard about the latest massive issue with United Airlines, oh my gosh, a woman whose puppy died on board a United Airlines flight from Houston to New York this week says a flight attendant knowingly forced the animal into an overhead bin. Katina Robledo claims the flight attendant responsible is lying about the Monday encounter that killed her 10-month-old French bulldog, pictured in this video you see here that was shot not long before the incident. The attendant is saying she didn't know there was a dog in the bag. But witnesses say Robledo told them several times there was a dog in the animal carrier. Apparently, she says that animal carrier was designed specifically to go underneath airplane seats. As they are. As they are. You pay an extra $200. Yes. to take your pet with you. United Airlines has, though, come out in a statement and said they are yeah, taking full us. responsibility yeah, for the dogs. They, they owned up to it right away. I guess the company's doing everything they can because they're sort of used to this by now. This yep. is what United Airlines does. This is what they Every do. Every three or four months, they embarrass themselves mm -hmm. with something stupid like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I don't know, obviously, the attendant, and I, I watched, uh, I think it was on the Today Show, yep. there's an association of flight attendants, and I'd like to know where that convention is. But uh, yes. they said, no, it is our policy that we always tell people you put the carrier underneath the seat. There yeah. is no policy whatsoever that would suggest you put an animal in an overhead bed. Yeah, yeah. But there were other passengers who were talking about they heard the dog barking. And then they And you're going to tell me when they barking. were putting the beverage cart through, they didn't hear. They did hear it. Until the thing was silenced by lack of oxygen and pure panic or whatever happened. Yeah. They're going to do a dog topsy on this thing, though, to see what... Because it was one of those uh, smushed-faced dogs. Yeah, French Bulldog, yeah. French Bulldog. Yeah. Is that what it was? That's what, yeah, that, okay. is, that is. Well, because those dogs don't breathe very well anyway. So you put them inside some cramped yeah. quarters. Good Lord. That I was just, a nightmare for that dog in the dark. Yeah, and we obviously are not saying all flight attendants and everyone associated with United Airlines is bad, but this flight attendant, come on. You heard, other witnesses are saying this lady told you there was a dog and it was in an animal carrier and you had to hear the dog barking. That does you can't like lie bag. about this I've when there's hundreds it. of passengers that have seen this. I mean, this, this really does make me like sick to my stomach when I think about it. Like, I, my family has a dog and I would just. It was a birthday I, present I for my 11 year old daughter. I know. On top of that. Yeah, and she was interviewed on some national news outlets crying and just like, yeah. it's just, it's sick. I think, I mean, we had the horrible United issue with that doctor here from Kentucky, the one that was dragged Drug on the flight, if you don't remember that. Yeah, that they, was. They first tried to yeah. put him in an overhead bin. They did. And then they beat him, and then they drug him out. Yeah, we thought that was as bad as it could get. Uh, no, apparently no, now not. now they're doing it to now dogs. Now they'll kill your pets. Yeah, so. So. <laughs> Sorry, United. We are not fans You're of you guys United. today. <laughs> yeah, boy, they got a long road to hoe to get that PR. You know that their PR to... team is like, oh, again, we just yeah. got done why, with the last. Why thing. would you do that? 
Yeah, I don't yeah. know. An Idaho science teacher is under investigation. He's accused of... Uh, what? Why? I don't know the story. He's accused of feeding a sick but live puppy dog to a snapping turtle in front of students at his school. There's the guy. Robert. Current and Robert. Uh, former students say the teacher is well-liked. Oh, yeah, three former students didn't say they remember Crossland feeding guinea pigs to snakes and snapping turtles, but never a puppy. I don't, I don't, I don't know any other Why details about this besides what we have just told you. Man's best friend. I, Hopefully, this isn't true. Ho I'm Maybe it's we'll, not there'll true. be new information that comes to light and says, no, it was just a big rat, right, and not a terrier, right. Not that you know. Sick. I mean. What, you, uh, let's let's be honest. We choose certain animals over others, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because absolutely. you know, there's a lot of tuna swimming around right now, going, "Why the dolphin?" You mm. know, I'm just as adorable, maybe. Yeah. But we make exceptions for dolphins. Yeah. Because they're mammals. And That's right. dogs, <laughs> God bless them. Dogs choose us. That's the only animal in the animal kingdom that left its natural habitat, walked into the man's camp, and said, "Hey, fellas, what's for dinner?" <laughs> Yeah. And we've welcomed them ever since. Yeah. We love them. We do love them. We I just feed them the snapping turtles. Yeah, this was not good. I really hope it's not true. I hope there was some sort of misunderstanding. Let's hope. But if he did do this, wow, he, yeah, he doesn't need to teach anymore. Speaking of schools, if you haven't heard, students across the country came together for a national school walkout this morning. Students in virtually every state walked out of class this morning at 10 a.m. and remained outside for 17 minutes in honor of the 17 victims killed in last month's deadly school shooting in Parkland, Florida. That shooting was one month ago today. The walkout entitled Enough was a show of solidarity from students who are calling on Congress to pass stricter gun control laws. I talked to a couple of uh, students. One was a student, and the other one was an organizer yeah. uh, yesterday for uh, Hey Kentucky. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I had, uh, because I wasn't sure what their tact was, but, right. because I'm not exactly sure what you're protesting. You know, well, not so much protesting, just drawing attention to an issue. Uh, that and creating well. awareness is a good thing. Yeah. Um, but again, there's already laws on the books for certain activities, like murder. Right. And uh, the illegal carry of a firearm, if you're not supposed to have that, either for you're, you have reasons or the premises isn't allowed. But they were, they gave me a lot of hope because they were more concerned with, because the proliferation of firearms in America has always been part of this nation since right. its inception. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it was easier to get firearms 30 or 40 years ago, but mm -hmm. we didn't have what we have now. Right. So the question is, what's going on with the generation and, and they were aware of that, and they were talking about that's what we want to do. We want to get be able to communicate to adults when we think somebody's problematic. We think this student, our contemporary, is behaving oddly, and we believe they may be a threat. We right. need people to listen to us right. when we feel threatened. Yeah. And I think that is very positive. I think that is very positive. And I do want to say one thing about this. We got an angry email here at LEX 18 a little while ago when we were covering. What? Yeah, covering the student walkouts here at our schools and things like that. And someone said, shame on you all for covering this or something. No, shame on you, okay? Just because you don't agree with what they're protesting or talking about. I'm sorry, it makes me so angry okay. when people protest the First Amendment. This is what our country is about. Just because you don't agree with what they're protesting or what they might be asking for. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Let's say there's an right. issue you care about and you want to go and talk about it. Sorry, you can't anymore. Mm -hmm. If you protest this, this is what our First Amendment is, the right of the people peaceably to assemble and petition the government for a redress of grievances. That's what they're doing. A peaceful protest is wonderful, and it is well within our rights. If you don't want them to go out, then you don't need to speak out on an issue you care about in the future. So yeah. that's what I think. They were trying to take us off the air. As you, look at they that. were <laughs> trying to take us off the air for some reason. Anyway, huh? when I don't agree with a protest or anything is when it gets violent. That's not a protest. That's not you using right. your right. That's committing a crime. All so, right. but anyway, okay. I, just, I don't like that. Anyway. Well said. There you go. All right. So, New England is dealing with the aftermath of its nor'easter in just two weeks. A man from Boston's gone viral for his interesting get up and his active. Uh, Kindness amid the heavy snow. His 37-year-old lawyer, Jason Triplett, he blew up on social media when pictures were posted of him in the snow dressed as Elsa from the hit Disney film Frozen. Let it go. And then, still in his costume, he single-handedly helped free a police car <laughs> stuck in a snowbank. You, look she's at this. strong. Is I did it? not realize. Well, she's the she's a snow man. Witch. She's a snow witch. Jason said he put the costume on in the first place to give his friends a laugh at the local bar. 
And there you go, there she goes. I love it. No Queen help Elsa. from Olaf. Mm -mm. Queen Elsa has never looked more beautiful. Oh, oh wow. wow. Hello. Hike it up. Okay. okay. <laughs> Those are our hot topics today, everybody. All right, it's time for our first guest today. She's a high school senior and plays basketball for the two-time Mercer wow. County champions, the Lady Titans. Yeah, Lexi Lake holds the record for most three-pointers made in a state tournament. That's 27. Yeah. Now she's competing for a chance to take part in a three-point contest during the men's NCAA tournament in San Antonio, and she's with us now, and she needs your help. We'll tell you how in a minute. Good to see you. Hi, thanks Lexi, for having thanks me. Thanks for today. coming in. We yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Really First of all, congratulations. It. Thank you. You guys are dominating the world down there right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. Um, <laughs> it's just been crazy. It's been an awesome, like, past couple weeks. Obviously. You guys win, correct? The state tournament? Yes. And then did, when, did I just hear we had a Mr. and Miss basketball that is from the same county? I don't think that's yeah, ever happened same before, school, has it? It has never happened. Wow. Before. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What do you guys have in the water there? I don't know. It's just been blessings after blessings. And I heard you went five for five from the three point line in the championship game. Yeah. Were you I like did. pinching yourself, or is that pretty old hat for uh, you? No, <laughs> you're so it's good. Definitely unusual. You were upset. You weren't six for six. That's is right. That the way it was like. You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, talk about shooting for you. I mean, is it a feel thing, or is it all just technique? Right? What do you think about? Do you know when you're going to get hot? Do you feel mm -hmm. when you got it, or yeah. is it? Do you have nights that you're off, where you just keep? Uh, grinding with the technique. I definitely have off nights, but I mean, I just think it's all the practice. I think it's just kind of muscle memory at this point. I've shot yeah. so many shots, but I definitely have off do you, nights. Do you like it when some when a defender is on you, or would you rather be wide open, or does that make you a little nervous when you're wide open? I, don't, I try not to pay a lot of attention to the defense at all, and just try to like look at the basket the whole time, and try not to pay attention to anyone else. Yeah. yeah. So right. it doesn't really matter. I well, guess. congrats to you on the big championship win, and your whole team. I understand your sister plays basketball as well. Yeah, she does. Yeah. All right. Who's the better shooter? Um, <laughs> she's pretty good too. So. Yeah. Right. But I guess. Me, I don't know. You're both very, very good. Okay, so let's talk about this competition and kind of explain to people you're trying to get into this competition where you would actually like get on the court at the mm -hmm. men's NCAA championship. Yeah, if I were to win, I would go to Texas and shoot during one of the games, the men's final four. Okay. Um, I guess either between a game or during halftime at some point against 15 other girls who are already there. So. Okay. So awesome. how many more layers do we have to go through? Because we beat some girl from Florida last week. Yeah, so the voting's yeah. been going on. Mm -hmm. Who yeah, are we challenging well. this week? Um, I don't know where she's from, but she's going she's down. from Missouri. Yes, okay. <laughs> she's hopefully going down. Um, this is the last round, so I really Good. need everyone to vo to start voting. It ends tomorrow at one. I already voted for you once this morning. Thank you. So I'm going to try to find another computer and do it oh, again. Friday at one. I'm sorry. Friday, Friday at one. one yes. Friday at one okay. is Friday all right. So let's make sure we get her to San Antonio. It's not too late to vote. Visit HighSchoolSlam.com. Click Girls Three Pointer Final. Choose Lexi Lake and then click the red vote now button. That's how we do it, correct? Yes, sir. Literally right. takes seconds. I've already done it once today. So go ahead and do it and help Lexi out. Lexi, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having Good me luck, so Lexi. much. Good luck, Lexi. Congratulations. Too. Thank you. Yes. You got it. All right. What? Go ahead. Did you say something? Up next, we're celebrating Pi Day with our friends from Blaze Pizza. That's coming up next.